With her magic and his trusty blade, the pair has saved lives beyond counting. Welcome to Raid of Story Legends with me, Layla Fox. Hi there, welcome to Raid Story Legends. I am Layla Fox. This is a weekly YouTube series that I do to share lore with you from some of our favorite champions in Raid Shadow Legends. Now, considering that we are in February and it is Valentine's Day month, I thought it was appropriate to share the story for Venus and Cupidus, probably one of the most well-known couples that we have in Raid Shadow Legends. Now, before I share their lore with you, let's go take a look at their faction lore. They both belong to Sacred Order, and that lore you can see in-game, so let's go take a look. In-game, when you go to the Index, you choose the faction that you would like to see, and you click the I for information, and you're going to have faction lore pop up for you. So here is the story for the Sacred Order. For centuries, the Knights of the Sacred Order were charged with cleansing Teleria of evil and all its guises. But since the declaration of war, they have sworn allegiance to the Queen of Arabia, in league with the queen's necromancer, these once holy knights now enforce her majesty's will and guard her chattel. The story I'm going to share with you for both Venus and Cupidus, they both belong to the sacred order. You are going to see that Venus is a fair maiden, Cupidus is a knight in the sacred order. So let's go take a look at their lore story. Here is the story for Venus and Cupidus, and I hope you enjoy. Bards and minstrels have spun many tales about love is so pure, it overcomes death itself. While it is, indeed, the stuff of many a ballad, too many perhaps, the realm of Teleria had seen these wondrous tales come to life. One particular legend speaks of a maiden so fair, she caught a jealous eye of an evil sorcerer, a servant of Siroth's dark will, the spells he weaved allowed him to entrance the maiden and entrap her in a distant stronghold. Fortunately, her faith allowed the maiden to break free and regain her will before the sorcerer's vile designs could be realized. Yet, she remained a prisoner under threat of imminent death were she not to accept the sorcerer's advances. But all was not lost, for her promised one, a noble knight of great renown, rose up to the challenge. He fought his way through untold dangers and enemies uncountable before forcing the great gates of the Dark Keep open. There, the entire might of the sorcerer's magic was unleashed upon him. The knight cut down hordes of Siroth's servants, ignoring his own wounds and striking the villain down with a single blow of his blessed sword. Though life ebbed away from his body by the moment, he chose to expend the last of his strength on a proclaiming his love for the maiden, who was finally free. It was at that moment the Arbiter herself interfered. Though Lumea may never guide the affairs of mortals, her faithful herald would not let a heroic deed driven by love as pure as that turn into tragedy. She used her power to save the dying knight, yet such divine assistance did come with a price. Unable to live on without her beloved, the maiden did not hesitate to swear her own soul to Lumea's cause. In turn, both she and her knight were granted with life immortal. There were many recountings of their adventures afterward, some contradicting each other, some the stuff of fairy tales. Even their true names are lost to history, as is any promise that their origins are anything more than legend. Yet one thing is certain. Wherever the mysterious lovers known as Venus and Cupidus appear, no darkness may stand before the fires of their passion. With her magic and his trusty blade, the pair has saved lives beyond counting. Any warrior that gains the loyalty of both of these divine servants will find their force strengthened with a kind of purity only love that transcends mortal boundaries can bring. I hope you enjoyed this story for Venus and Cupidus. I feel like this is just such a, a sweet love story in a fairy tale fashion. You have a beautiful maiden, you have an evil sorcerer, you have a knight that comes to save her, and while the knight is dying, here comes Arbiter, who witnesses this, this act of true love and she ends up saving the knight and both of them decide to pledge their service to Arbiter so that they can fight evil together. 
And again, this fits in nicely with the Sacred Order, considering the Sacred Order are supposed to be holy knights, holy servants. And so I just really like this story. I think it's so sweet. If you enjoyed this story, please consider subscribing, hitting the like, leaving me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the story for Venus and Cupidus. Is it what you were thinking? Do you think that they fit the Sacred Order faction as well as I do? Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to sharing my next Raid Story Legends with you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our video, you can catch us live on twitch.tv slash LaylaFoxNation four days a week on Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on by and be part of our community and we'll see you there.